Hi everyone, welcome to WearAmptMP4.com channel. Today we are going to assemble Honor X7C. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. To do this we use the SIM eject tool. We insert it into the small hole and gently push to release the tray. Next we will need to heat up the back cover to about 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we are using a heating pad, but you can also use a heat gun or hair dryer if needed. After heating the back cover for 5 to 7 minutes, we can start removing the back cover. To do this, use a thin plastic film, something like a screen protector or even a piece of stationary film will work. Insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and carefully slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive. Make sure to be extra careful around the side buttons. There is a fingerprint sensor flex cable in that area. Also be cautious around the camera module, so you don't damage the lenses. Gently leave the back cover. Please note that there is extra adhesive around the camera area. Once the cover is off, set it aside. Then we use a protective film to cover the camera lenses and keep them safe from dust or scratches. With the lenses protected, we can move on to removing the screws. To remove the screws, we are using a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o As we take the screws out, we will place them on a magnetic pad or designated surface keeping them organized by location to make reassembly easier. For extra clarity, it is a good idea to separate the screws from top and bottom sections. Keep an eye out for a small silver screw located near the center. Don't miss it, it is important. If it doesn't come out easily, you can use a pair of tweezers or gently lift it out. Once all the screws are removed, we will move on to detaching the middle frame. Start by inserting a thin plastic film into the gap between the mid frame and the display frame. We begin near the SIM card tray area. We release a few clips, then switch to a thicker tool to continue separating the frame. As always, be extra careful around the corners, as they tend to hold tightly. Also, take care around the display edges to avoid any damage. Please note that this mid-frame is additionally glued along the edges, so take your time separating it to avoid damaging the fingerprint sensor flex cable underneath. Once the mid-frame is loosened, carefully flip it over to access and disconnect the connectors. We start by disconnecting the battery connector using a plastic or non-metal tool. Then disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector located on the mid frame and set the frame aside. Next we will remove the loudspeaker module at the bottom. We gently pry it up from one edge and lift it out. Now we disconnect the interconnect flex cable. Disconnect the coaxial cable connector and free the cable itself. Then we disconnect the second coaxial cable. At this point, we need to remove one screw that secures the subboard. Again, use the 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. We carefully pry up the subboard from the edge and remove it. As we can see, the subboard houses the charging port, microphone, headphone jack port and other components on the reverse side. Now for our usual quick test of the microphone opening. As you can see, the microphone hole is built into the display frame and has an L-shaped design. That means if something inserted straight into the hole, it won't reach the microphone itself. Next, we move on to the motherboard. First, we carefully disconnect the front camera and peel off the thermal foil covering it. 
It is also a good idea to cover the front camera lens with a protective film to avoid scratches. Once it is protected, set the front camera aside. Now disconnect the main rear camera and the second rear camera and set this aside as well. With the cameras out of the way, we can start disconnecting the remaining connectors. We disconnect the interconnect flex cable, the display cable and the two coaxial cable connectors. Now we can remove the motherboard. We find a safe spot to gently pry it up from the edge, lift it and remove it. Keep in mind that thermal paste may be holding it slightly in place from the underside, which is normal. As for the top microphone, it is the same situation as the bottom one. It is also L-shaped, so inserting something directly into the mic hole won't cause damage. Finally, we will remove the battery. We fold the brown pull tabs and check the printed instructions on the order in which to pull them. Following the guide, pull the center tab upward to safety detach the battery. Underneath the battery, we will find transport adhesive layer that protects the display flex cable. All done with the assembly. Appreciate you watching. Catch you in the next video. Okay, guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself, and until next video.